Hi guys, today I'm going to show you Vagrant. So what is Vagrant? Vagrant is a tool for building and managing virtual machine environments in a single workflow. So what does this mean? So basically with Vagrant, you're gonna create a text file called Vagrant file. And in that file, you're gonna write instructions about your uh, virtual machine uh, requirements. So for example, you're gonna write your, your operating system that you want for your uh, virtual machine, like uh, Debian, Ubuntu, etc. And then you're gonna write other instructions, like for example, I want a PHP to be installed, or I want Apache, etc., etc. And what Vagrant's gonna be doing, it's gonna go through that file one line at a time, and it's gonna execute those commands. So it's gonna download the operating system first, and then it's gonna uh, install, for example, like what you said, so PHP or Apache or whatever that is, and and it's gonna kind of like automate the deployment of your virtual machine. Um, and it's very useful, for example, um, if you have a, a specific server in production with specific specification, you can create a Vagrant file and kind of put all the specification in there, and then it's gonna basically um, deploy locally your uh, production server on your local machine so that you can uh, test test out things, try out things, and develop, uh, for example, as you were on your production server. So uh, let's get right into this, guys. So the first thing you need to do is you need to uh, go on vagrantapp.com and you need to install, I mean, download Vagrant, so I'll put the link, uh, all the links in this video, I'll put them in the uh, video description of YouTube uh, below. Um, so you download uh, Vagrant for uh, the operating system that you guys are using, I'm using a Mac today, and you also uh, download uh, VirtualBox, and once you've installed uh, Vagrant and VirtualBox, then you're good to go. Uh, so basically I'm on my Mac, um, on my terminal window and I created a vagrant file and uh, I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like in uh, I'm just gonna open that file in sublime text and basically here uh, so this is the structure of a vagrant file and and once again for this video it's a, I, I took the basic basic example so that's a very very simple vagrant file there's only one instruction in it which is basically uh, launch uh, an Ubuntu 32-bit machine uh, and the Vagrant file always starts with that line and always end with the hand line here and it's basically uh, executing all the lines in between those two uh, lines so here I'm just gonna say okay download and run I mean uh, deploy that Ubuntu 32-bit machine so just for your information guys if you want to know uh, all the operating systems you can uh, actually get uh, with Vagrant, you can just go back on vagrantapp.com, just go back on the home page and just click on find boxes here, and here you'll have a list of all the uh, operating systems that are available uh, on um, on uh, Vagrant, and you have some that are like custom with like other things installed on it, uh, so you can uh, read through this. Okay, so uh, now the so I have installed Vagrant, and the only thing that you guys need to do is to type Vagrant up, and basically what it's going to be doing here, it's going to um, try to see if I have first the operating system that I requested in my Vagrant file, and since I don't have it installed here, it's actually going to download it. So this is once again only the first time you're launching the box with the operating system that you haven't downloaded before it's going to try to download it but the next time i'm doing vagrant app since i will already have the operating system uh it will basically not redownload it anymore and just boot up the the machine all right guys uh now uh, the virtual machine is boot up so if you open virtualbox you will see that the ubuntu machine has been created right here and then you can pretty much be doing everything you'd be doing on a, a virtual machine, I mean, on an Ubuntu virtual machine in that case. So by default, uh, Vagrant is creating an SSH user, a Vagrant SSH user, so you can type Vagrant SSH. And then basically you'll be connected right away into SSH and you can do 
everything you would be doing on a uh, Ubuntu machine. So for example, I can do sudo apt get install uh, htop. Now I installed the uh, htop. So if I type htop, then I'll see htop right here. Uh, I can, once you're basically done working, uh, you can exit SSH and you can turn off that uh, virtual machine if you want uh, by typing vagrant alt and then now you will see that the virtual machine is now powered off um, if you want to uh, bring it back up you can just type vagrant up and then it will turn the machine uh, back up uh, or you can if you don't want to work uh, with this machine anymore you can even uh, destroy it if you don't want to work with it anymore you will type vagrant destroy and then basically it's gonna basically um, remove that virtual machine from your hard drive so you see the virtual machine is not there anymore um, and yeah that's pretty much it um, I'll put the uh, vagrant file in the I put a link to the vagrant file in the description of the YouTube video so that you can so that you guys can play with it and and basically yeah uh, vagrant is amazing um it's it's very used in um development team so for example if you have a, um, a lot of developers and you all want them to work on the same development environment you're basically just going to give them uh, a file i mean a vagrant file uh and then they'll be uh running that file on vagrant and basically they'll all be developing on the same um machine and it will basically um uh, prevent from having those issue where one of the one of the developer has a bug on his machine but the other one does not so you won't have this issue anymore because they all work on the exact same machine um, it's also very convenient in a way that your machine is not tied up to only one project uh, because technically you're not installing anything uh, on your uh, local machine because everything is made through a virtual machine so uh, meaning that you can work on several virtual machines at the same time with, you know, using different operating system and it's not gonna uh, affect anything on your local machine and once you're done working on the project you can just basically um, remove that virtual machine from your hard drive. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I really like Vagrant. Uh, I'll be doing a, a bunch of videos about it. Um, uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, leave me a comment in the comment section. Um, and I'll try to respond to it. And also, um, if you like this video, um, do not hesitate to give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate. And if you're not subscribed to this channel yet, you may want to subscribe to it. We talk a lot about technologies, about Vagrant, and about a lot of cool stuff. Thank you very much, guys, for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.